hi everyone in this video we'll explain you process costing this one is the first video on process costing in this video we'll be explaining introduction and to solve problems on process costing and down the line we'll make uh, one or two videos based on abnormal loss and abnormal gain concept and these videos are helpful for bcom bba mcom mba ca cs and cms students so let's start understanding the concept of process costing and how to solve the problems of process costing so what is process costing process costing is a system of accounting applied in such a business houses where a product process through different stages of production the finished product of one process become the raw material of the other until the final product is obtained in the sense the finished product of one process will become the raw material for another process this will follow this will be followed until the last stage of process so final process product will be the finished product will be sold in the market so process costing is a very significant concept as far as the cost accounting is concerned i hope you understand what is process costing so let's start the accounting procedure when you come to the accounting treatment a separate account for each process is opened and all expenses pertaining to that process are charged to process account that relevant process account only the value of by product or scrap if any is credited to process account by product and scrap in the sense whatever normal loss we get which is what do you mean by normal loss the expected loss that will be sold in the market so once we sell that scrap or some by product that will be earning for the organization so that income will be credited to process account the cost per unit of finished output of each process is obtained by dividing the total cost incurred during the period by the number of units produced during that period in the sense per unit cost will be calculated with simple formula total cost divided by number of units produced as the product process from one process to another process the accumulated cost of output is transferred to the next process so process 1 process 2 process 3 the finished product will be obtained in process 3 so process 3 cost will be accumulated cost of process 1 process 2 and process 3 so final product cost we will obtain by accumulating all the expenses i hope you understood the accounting treatment we'll further proceed so we'll take up one question in this question if you see the product x produced after three distinct processes the following information is obtained from the accounts of a period so we have given information we have given direct material process 1 1800 process 2 300 process uh 3 it should be right sorry process 3 there's a question mistake is given then direct wages indirect direct expenses we have given each process the production overhead incurred 800 and is recovered 200% of direct wages always bear in mind the indirect expenditure such as production overhead or any kind of overhead expenditure will be apportioned will be divided into various processes always 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 on which ratio direct wages or labor ratio right unless and until anything contradictory are specifically mentioned in the question other than that so if nothing is mentioned still we will take up the direct wages right or else if it is mentioned direct wages if something else is mentioned accordingly we will be following so overhead expenditure will always divided in wages or labor ratio direct wages or labor ratio that you bear in mind in this case 200% so anyway it will be divided in wages ratio the production during the period was 100 kg there was no opening and closing stock prepare process cost account so we have to prepare process accounts so let's understand how to prepare process accounts for better understanding sake i have taken again the question so 
first process one account what is the format of process account so this is the format of process account right so process account is similar to a ledger account which contains particulars besides that we will have units that is quantity rate per unit amount column so quantity introduced what is the rate per unit and what is the amount of the quantity that will be mentioned in the sense it will be divided into three columns quantity rate per unit and amount in the same way the credit side even the same right particulars quantity rate per unit amount this is the procedure and format of process account clear so directly we can easily prepare so first we have given we are taking up for process one account so direct material direct material of process one is 1800 so to direct material process one is 1800 then direct wages direct wages of process one are 100 then direct expenses of process one is 300 right then next is what production overheads production overhead how to divide total production overhead of all the three processes 800 that should be divided in wages ratio so as it is stated it is recovered on direct wages at 200 percent 200 percent of direct wages so what is the wages amount the wages amount is 100 200 percent of direct wages will be 200 rupees right so like this we calculated the production overheads then once it is done close the account by making a summation on the debit side and the same amount will be written on the credit side and balancing figure we are getting how much 100 units 2400 rupees so this will be called as the finished product of process 1 and it will be transferred to process 2 so you can write by process 2 account or by finished product transfer to process 2 anything is fine so why did I write 100 because it is stated in the question that the grass production is 100 kgs or 100 units. Once this is done we will proceed to the next account that is process 2 account. So before that uh, the unit the rate per unit is 24. How did I get 24? 2400 divided by 100 units that is 24 rupees per unit is the process 1 finished product price will be transferred to process 2 account. Again I have taken the process 2 account here to process 1 in the sense material brought down from process 1 account. So 100 kg is 24 per unit that is 2400 we have to write. So I did not write 24 there you can write 24 even right. So direct material. Direct material given in the question that is 300 process 2. Direct wages directly given in the question 200 for process 2. Then production overhead. Production overhead again the same thing 200% on direct wages. So wages are 200. So therefore 200% 200 of 200 that will become 400. Once this is done you have posted all the expenditure. Make the summation. That is 3300. The total summation of the expenditure. Again it will be written on the same. Same amount will be written on the credit side. 3300. Then balancing figure. How much we are getting? 3300 that will be called as by process 3 account in the sense the finished product of process 2 will be transferred to process 3. So 100 kgs that is it is given in the question that's the reason I have written 100 kgs even that is quantity. So the rate per unit will be 33 rupees is the rate per unit clear. Once this is done, we will proceed with the process 3 account. Similarly, the same way how we have prepared process 2, the same way process 3 will be prepared. To process 2 account, in the sense, to material brought down from process 2, that is 3300, then to direct material of process 300, then direct wages of process 3 also 100, then again direct expenses of process 3 will be 200, right? And production overhead, again 200% of direct wages. Direct wages are 100, 200% is 200. So then we will make the summation of the units as well as amount. That comes to 3900. In the same way, we will be writing the same on the credit side. That is units as well as amount 3900. Then finally, we need to find out the balancing figure. That is finished goods. That is finished product. Transfer to where? Warehouse. Now, the third process is done. This is the finished product. 
and once this is done we will be getting the value of finished product is 3900 so per unit it is it will be 39 rupees so very precisely in this way you need to prepare the process account this is the basic questions this may be asked in the exams of the university even you can easily do if you follow my instructions so i hope i made you understand the basic crux of the process costing right so we will take a one more question so if you see this question the particulars of brand of phenyl passed through three processes during the same month of 83 600 gross brothels were produced please bear in mind 600 is the production so process one process two process three material labor direct expenses cost of bottles cost of corks is given then indirect expenses for a period were 1400 the byproduct of process two was sold for 200 in the sense second process normal loss or byproduct sold for 200 it will be credited to process account and residue of process through that is same again normal loss was sold for 120 rupees prepare process account of each process all right so we have to prepare again the process account of each process when you compare to the earlier question what is the difference in this question in this question we have byproduct that is normal loss and sale of scrap kind of a thing so how to deal with that this will be understood in this question right so let's start again i have taken the question for the quick review sake so process one account the same procedure two material expenditure 5000 two labor 3000 two direct expenses 1200 given in the question cost of bottles we don't have cost of corks corks we don't have then next is indirect expenses indirect expenses always i told you it should be divided in which ratio wages or labor ratio so total indirect expenses is 1400 then why did i multiply into 30 by 70 because if you make the labor ratio 3000 2500 and 1500 the ratio will be if you strike off the common zeros two zeros then the ratio will become 30 is to 25 is to 15 right so like that i have taken 30 by 70 then the indirect expenses comes to 600 right then make the total that is 9800 is the summation the same will be written on the credit side 9800 then balancing figure we are getting 9800 only so what is this this is called as by process to account or finished product transfer to process two right so as it is given in the question we have produced 600 gross bottles so i have written gross bottles clear so like this we have to prepare the process account one so as there is no normal loss in process one so we will see process two we have some byproduct sale so when you come to the process two two material from process one brought down how much 600 gross bottles at the amount is 9800 rupees then again further expenditure of process two towards material 3000 towards labor 2500 towards direct expenses 800 is given then cost of bottles is given that to 2300 then indirect expenditure again it will be in the same labor ratio that is wages ratio total is 1400 into 25 by 70 right as i have already explained the ratio how did i make this ratio then total comes to indirect expenses 500 so this process to expenses is 500 towards indirect expenses then make the summation no 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 make the summation before that we need to write process loss by sale of residue uh, the byproduct of process 2 was sold for one 200 rupees so by sale of residue or byproduct is one and only same we have to credit that amount with 200 rupees that we have credited right so process 2 account will be credited with sale of residue 200 rupees then close the process account debit side total 18,900 same will be written on the credit side balancing figure we are getting 18,700 so what is this 18,700 this is the finished product will be transferred to process 3 account right then once it is done we have to uh, make a total of the quantity even that is 600 units again the 600 units i have written as usual then come to the process 3 account the same procedure to process 2 account or material brought down from process 2 
will be 600 bottle 18700 then to material 2000 to labor 1500 to direct expenses 500 then cost of cox is 300 right then indirect expenses same way we need to divide 1400 into 15 by 70 comes to 300 right by sale of residue sale of scrap is 120 in the process 3 then make the summation of process 3 account debit side and the same will be written on the credit side the balancing figure comes to 23,180 right this is called as by finished product transfer to warehouse ready for sale then units total will be making uh, 600 600 and 600 is the production of the process 3 right so this is the basic procedure of preparation of process accounts right i hope i made you clear the basic concept of what is process costing and what is the accounting treatment and what is the format of process costing account or process account then we have done two problems where one question we have taken without any na uh, normal loss or sale of scrap one question with normal loss and scale of sale of scrap so I hope I made you clear. So this is the basic concept of process costing with the problems. Please do understand the concept down the line. I will be making one more video with regards to abnormal loss and abnormal gain. Right. So I wish you all the best. Thanks for watching the video. Do subscribe my channel, mentor the trusted guide and motivate me to make more qualitative, informative videos as far as the accounting, finance concepts and uh, lectures are concerns concern right thank you very much